Today, Dan's gonna walk us through the top five sailing knots. So this first knot is gonna be one of the most, uh, one of the more used knots in, uh, in sailing. It's a bowline knot. You'll use this knot to put a loop, a fixed loop at the end of a line. Um, so the first thing you do is you'll um, have, you'll create a loop like this over itself. And then this is your free end here. The free end is going to come up out of the hole, around the line, and then back into the hole. And then when you pull it tight, it creates that loop. So you'll use this to tie off, you know, tie off anything. If you're going to go around something, you can use the bullion like this. You can use it to um, really anything. If you need a loop at the end to put your foot in, if you're going to climb up on something. If you need to wrap it around yourself to pull yourself back in the boat. You can have the loop around that so they can lift you up. All right, the next one is going to be the, uh, the figure eight stopper knot. So this is when you want to stop the line from going through, uh, through, through something. So like, so if you have a line going through here and you want it to not fly out. So it's commonly used on your jib sheets or any kind of block. Do a full circle <clears throat> and then take the end and it goes back up on itself and it ties a knot at the end so it'll stop. So loop around and back up. Okay. So uh, the next one that we'll do is called a clove hitch. You can see I've got a clove hitch on this stanchion, which is holding the fender on the boat. So the clove hitch is, it can go over you know, a tiller, a stanchion, any, uh, uh, I guess it'd be perpendicular to uh, to the line. So you go over, and then you come over once and cross over, and then you come up underneath itself and tighten. So you'll have an X with parallels. Now this will slip sideways, but it's pretty sturdy when you're um, coming out. So I'll do it. All right, so this is another common uh, knot. It's called the cleat hitch. So you've probably seen one of these. Uh, they're on docks, they're on uh, sailboats, they're on power boats. Um, there's a lot of ways that people tie this knot, a lot of right ways and a lot of wrong ways. So I'll show you the right way. <clears throat> so if this is where the load is on this side, you're gonna come around and wrap around once entirely. You'll cross over once and then flip it, come down so that you have the parallels. This is where the strength of the knot comes from, is from the friction of that. Some people think that they can go over and over and over and then wrap it around. That's not, I mean, it might hold it for a little while, but it's not going to um, be a proper cleat hitch. Again, you want the parallels. So you go around once. Full turn, hook under, finish off. All right, and the last one is going to be the round turn two and a half hitch. Um, this is common for, again, just tying anything off. A lot of people use it to tie off their boat to, say, a pylon if there isn't a, a cleat hitch. If you need to uh, just put a line somewhere or tie any tie something to the deck whatever it is it's very common so this you're gonna go around once twice so that's the round turn and 
then you do a half hitch and then finish it off with another half hitch. So now all the force and pressure is on here when, you, when you're pulling on it and not on, on the knot, knot itself. So this makes it easy for the knot to come off even after it's been under, under load and stress. We hope you enjoyed that video. Check out the description for our blog on how to make these knots and what they're best used for.